Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it has been a hot minute, so uh, grab a drink, grab a snack, and buckle up, because uh, we got some updates to go for. Let's rip the band-aid off, shall we? We moved. <laughs> um, I have been absent. <laughs> I have been absent on here since September for good reason. I did not anticipate to be gone this long, um, but my I'm a real life person and my life literally went into a crazy spiral, very exciting spiral, but crazy nonetheless, okay? So before I came back to YouTube, I had, I really had to get myself under control. Um, this move was so exciting and was life changing in the best ways and we know we're making the right decision for our family, but it was very hard. And I lost a little bit of my identity in selling that house and leaving that community. Um, I did leave a piece of me behind and it's taken me a little bit to um, kind of catch up, if you will. Um, if you have ever been through a really big life-changing move, um, maybe you can relate to this, but anyway. So, where did we move to? What the heck happened? Let's rewind back to the beginning. Do you guys remember when I got my job? Okay, I still work at my amazing job. I love it so much. Um, I'm on lunch break right now as I record this video for you. Got a new job. A month after I started my new job, Kaya started kindergarten. Riker went to daycare full time again. A month after that schedule, Mike received a phone call um, of an, for an amazing job offer that we could not say no to. So, so we said yes. And that job was about four and a half hours away from where we lived. It was closer to my parents, but farther away from his parents. It was a decision. It was a big decision, but ultimately, it was an amazing opportunity. We were coming to the end of Eminem Rustics, and we knew that we were going to be wrapping it up in 2021 for the woodworking side, anyways. Um, we have not like quit that business. That's still in the in the works, if you will. So. The woodworking business is done. We don't do woodworking anymore. We are pivoting into renovations and eventually we would like to flip houses under the M&M Rustics umbrella, the company umbrella. Um, but we just, bigger and better things. Um, less time out in the shop, more time with our family. We still love to have side businesses and side hobbies. Um, just that wasn't it for us. Trial and error, don't ever pursue or like continue to do something that makes you unhappy. Um, I'm such an advocate for that. I've said it over and over and over again um, to do what makes you happy. And changes like this can be extremely uncomfortable, but um, growth in your life is going to be uncomfortable. And in order to grow, you have to be uncomfortable. So it's just full circle. Um, so. October, Mike got the job offer, he accepted, and we had to list our house by October 15th, um, and we had to be out of there by Halloween weekend. <laughs> so we had, two, we had two weeks to get out of that bad boy. We spent a week before we listed it, um, packing up our items, getting it ready to go. Mike put his notice in at work. It was really sad, he's been there for like six, seven years. Again, just an amazing opportunity, which by the way, Mike is so happy now. And I, I'm not gonna say it was easy, but to get us to this point, um, all of it is worth it. All of it has been worth it. Um, so, packed up our house as much as we could to get it ready for showing um, by the 15th of October. Um, got as much stuff into a storage unit as we possibly could for showing. Started showing on the 15th. It was sold, that was Friday, I believe, and it was, um, we had two offers by Sunday night, and we were under contract by that next week, um, and we closed on our house the Monday after Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> so, so, but we, like I said, backing up, we had to, um, we had to be down here in the cities by Halloween weekend, left us with very little options as far as finding a place to rent, finding a place to buy, our options were limited. 
So conveniently, my parents live in the cities. They live just outside the cities. So we are staying with my parents. We basically have full room of the basement. Um, welcome to my apartment for the time being in my parents' basement. Um, oh, a tea leaf, good, <laughs> good. Um, so that's where I'm at. You're like, oh my gosh, like house to parents' basement, good. Um, the reason why we chose to do this is so that we didn't have some weird laps. Like I said, we were really having um, a hard time finding somewhere decent to rent, um, even like a house um, in the area that my husband works. So we decided to come straight here. It was easier to transition Kaya directly into the kindergarten, um, into the school district and going to kindergarten here. Um, so we're staying here through the end of the year and we are starting to look for houses at the end of May, beginning of June, um, as soon as she is done with school. So we're almost there, we're almost there. And I'm very excited to take you guys with on that journey because I've been manifesting and imagining this place. I can see it in my head. I just haven't, it's, it's just not there yet. It's not available. I just, I can see it. Um, but anyway, so we are with my parents. Uh, Mike has about an hour and 15 minute commute, even from where we're at still. Um, but if it's, a, but it's a heck of a lot better than like us trying to find like some like rental, just like moving the kids so many, so many times, like moving here for a little bit and then moving into a rental and then buying a house that same, it's just a lot. So it was better for the kids just for us to stay here until we were ready to buy, meaning we found the right home. So, and this is a big deal for us. We've always wanted to live by a big city. Um, I love city suburbs, big city suburbs. Um, I wanna be just outside the city. So I wanna be able to access it within like a half hour. So if I wanna go have like a really nice dinner, I can. Um, but I wanna live in this little, not little, but I would like a sprawling two-story like cottage in the woods. Um, like. 10 minutes outside of town, still in a neighborhood. Everybody's got two acre lots. And I know that that is almost impossible to find in today's market, but that's a whole other story. Um, I can see it and I'm manifesting it and I am just, just hoping and praying on that, that that manifestation and this vision I have is a real thing. So a lot has changed. And I kind of went through this weird identity thing because a lot of my identity came with the community I was from. My friends were all from that community. We grew up there. We've never moved away. Um, this was a really big change for us and it was really a lot for me to digest and to handle. Um, <laughs> so I just, I really struggled, you guys. And I had this spiritual awakening where I was like, where I was like, I feel really, like I know where I'm going, but I feel very lost in this moment, in this day, in this time. And it took me a few months to be able to pick up the camera and feel motivational. That was my biggest thing is I didn't feel very motivational because I didn't even have a routine for myself. Um, it took us a long time to find full-time daycare for Riker. We went through many daycare interviews it's very competitive down here in the cities. We did just find him a spot. Um, right before the new year, we interviewed with several more um, positions. We got a part-time spot, lost it, because the part-time spot we were filling was for a fa other fam was a, for another family that was there part-time. They chose to go full-time a week after we started, um, which was just really bad timing, and it was kind of traumatic. It was just, it was hard. So we really liked that daycare. Um, and so we started the daycare interview process again. Finally found an amazing, amazing daycare, full-time daycare for Riker. He's thriving. I give videos and pictures of him all day long and it just makes my heart so happy. And he just started on Monday. So, um, and that daycare is in the new city where we are relocating at, um, where we will call our home um, until the kids graduate. Um, so that is why we're gonna be very picky when it comes to this house, as picky as we possibly can be with today's market. Yes, I know I'm gonna get those comments. That is just insane. Um, 
but luckily the area that we're looking at is not quite as insane as the rest of the country so we are pretty lucky in that sense and the house prices are still fairly decent and affordable um, for um, a bigger home that we're looking for so yeah I'm still at my job I love it Mike's at his new job he loves it we're not doing m, &M rustics anymore we love it as far as woodworking anyways we will be doing renovating videos and things like that in the new house on the m, &M channel and um like sharing that across socials because mike just loves woodworking and we are looking for a bit of a fixer-upper so that is just we're so excited and i keep manifesting that two-story cottage in the woods and being right by the lake and having a boat and being able to go out on the lake every single night in the summer after work with the kids and watching them run around in a giant backyard and have a home that's just good bones, beautiful, unique. Mike and I working on projects, home projects on the weekends, like that is our vibe time. And, and just packing up and going on vacation whenever we want. That is the, that is the life that I'm manifesting for my family. So I think that brings you up to date. Also, I got lip fillers. If you haven't been over on my Instagram, you probably didn't know that, but also got lip fillers. So um, yeah, anyways, I good things come to those who wait and good things come to those who work hard. And this has been hard. This has been really hard. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of trying to piece the puzzle together, but the puzzle pieces keep getting lost. And <laughs> we're like, we know we're meant to freaking do this puzzle, but we can't find all of the puzzle pieces. Like, wh what's happening? So, <sighs> that's where we're at. I do, um, I have been filming. Um, in fact, I have another day in the life video, but I realized I needed to update. Seriously, can we not chew on the bone so loud right now? I realized when I filmed, um, I was like a workout routine video. That's why I look like this. I worked out this morning and I am sweaty, I'm gross. I'm still on my weight loss journey. Yes, you can find all of my weight loss stuff over on TikTok if you want to. But as far as the day in the life stuff, I will be starting that back up with you guys. And we are going to Disney in um, March and I will share all things Disney. Um, and to throw a little spice in there, we did get the C word again um, about a couple weeks ago. And yeah. Anyways, welcome back. I'm super excited. I know this video was a little bit more boring, but before I could share anything further with you guys, like as far as like a normal day in the life, I had to bring you up to date. I had to bring you back into the loop, reintroduce myself onto my channel. I am so sorry that I have been gone. I'm a real life human and I went through some real life shit and it took me some time to adjust, to be honest. It took Kaya time to adjust. It took Riker time to adjust. Actually, let's be honest, Riker is just invincible and he's been great. The kids are healthy and happy. Kaya's finally feeling settled in her new kindergarten. Yes, she misses her old kindergarten so much, but she is finally doing better and we've been through a lot, but we're still here. So anyways, all right, you guys, I will see you. I'm hoping to um, hopefully edit this other video in the next couple of days and share my workout routine with you guys um, and kind of what my day looks like now living in my parents' basement for the next five months. Um, if you want to see anything else from me, let me know. I know I'm not going to be able to do home decor and cleaning here for a little bit. Maybe cleaning. If you guys want me, if you want to see me clean my parents' basement, <laughs> let me know. Um, I also plan to do some redecorating for her as well. Yes, we still have Christmas up. Like I said, it's been a wild ride the past little bit. So anyways, welcome back. Expect more rawness and more realness. And as always, hang in there. Hang in there, mama. You're doing a good job. Life is rough. Sometimes it's shit, but it's life and it's beautiful. So, all right, you guys. I will see you in a few days for an actual day in the life, but welcome back. <laughs>